An increase in violent attacks in the Portland metro area against paramedics and EMTs has sparked AMR to start training their employees in defense tactics. And we told you how paramedics were pepper sprayed just last week. Today, Elise Haas shows us what this new training looks like and why it's now necessary. Eric's the aggressor and I'm defending myself. Paramedics trained in medical care are now being trained in self-defense. There you go. Good job. Um, we didn't get into this uh, industry for um, people to take out their aggression on us. We got in to help people in crisis. EMS training officer Tim Case says locally he's seen an increase in assaults to emergency responders over the past few years. To have these things where we're the helpers um, to then be the ones needing the help is it's disheartening for sure. Paramedics attacked with pipes, stabbed with knives, and pepper sprayed in the face. And those are the, the most obvious glaring cases that really shine the light on the need for this. More and more we are dealing with uh, people who ha are either have mental illness, are drug or alcohol affected, are homeless or, or houseless, and just have all these big crises going on in their lives and they are for some reason choosing to lash out at the people who come to help them. AMR employees from Clark, Clackamas and Multnomah counties are now attending their first defensive tactics class. Our whole goal in this thing is not to teach you how to fight. Their so goal is back. to teach paramedics de-escalation and evasion tactics. Right there, One, two, three. Good. Practicing right. ways to keep distance. So let's make distance is safety when you're when you're dealing with an explosive situation. Paramedics work in an uncontrolled environment, never knowing what they're walking into. Just know that when we're there, we're there for you, to support you, to help you um, in a time of crisis. In Clackamas County, Elise Haas, like Coin Six News. I, I